Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Fashion League Styles. It's your boy, Van Styles. I'm your host today. Hey, we got an exclusive interview. It's about to be live. It's about to be stylish. Hey, you know we bringing that fire. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Fashion League Styles. I'm your host, Van Styles, and I'm with Mac for the Cleveland Browns. Hey, appreciate you for being on the show today. Appreciate you for having hey, me. Hey, yeah. So, we're going to get into it. This show is really all about your style, basically, from head to toe. We just want to know what goes into what makes you, you, as far as fashion wise. Mm, uh, I would say I never like just look at nobody and be like, oh, I want to do that. I just. You know what I'm saying? I like, I love <clears throat> skinny, skinny bottoms, kind of a baggy top. You know what I'm okay. saying? So I just kind of create my own style. Uh, going into it, I just like I don't never look for like no certain type of brand or design. It's just whatever catch my attention. I just see if I can imagine myself in it and how can I put it together. Uh, so it's like only thing I really care about is like really shoes. You know, I don't go out a lot, so. I have a lot of outfits I never wore, but I, I, I'm going to wear some shoes no matter what. So. so you can say you're more like a sneakerhead in a sense? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, yeah. cool. So how was your style there as far as like from high school before you got to, to like the college? Like what, how was you dressing in high school? Uh, high school, I was, I, was pretty, I was pretty basic. You know, the um, baggy Levi's, different colors, polo tops, LRG. Um, I think that's pretty much all I wore in high school. You know, you what have I'm like saying? a fit like, that you like remember from like what was like your first day back to school like outfit? What was it like? What? I, like the first two years, it was the first two years of high school. It was um, the the tall tees, and I, I wouldn't really just trip about the pants. I can't remember the pants and some type of Air Force ones or something like that. But my last two years, you know what I'm saying? It was a polo, a polo top. Okay. Levi's, you know what I'm saying? So that whole polo era. Yeah, pretty so much. So what year you graduated high school, so? Um, I graduated in 2013. So 2013, so you grew up on like the 05 era, you know, like kind of like that more baggy, yeah, baggy uh -huh. type style. So what, like artists, like what was your favorite music artist that you saw or favorite celebrity that you saw that you liked their style growing up? Um, It was Boosie for the longest and then like, I don't listen to this guy I'm about to say. I don't listen to him a lot, but I, I just feel like he like the best dresser ever, but fabulous. Mm -hmm. I feel like he like the most best dressed in the game, you know what I'm saying? So I kind of, I don't really idolize him, but it's like if I see something with him, I, I kind of mimic, like, I want, I want something like that. Because yeah, Fab has on that yeah. 05 era and everything that he wears, just yeah. like, it's fire, uh, it's fire. fire. Uh -huh. So when you got to college, so you went to an HBCU school, and a lot of people don't know, like, going to a historical black college, like, y'all got hump day, mm -hmm. which is like, that's like fashion showcase. Yeah, yeah. Like, how is that, like, stepping on the <clears throat> canvas, just like, fresh to head to toe, like, on hump day? Um, I never really just got dressed. Uh, at Gremlin, because it, it, you know, it was so small, you know, Gremlin is, is its own city, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Uh, I ain't really just go out a lot. It was pretty much, Gremlin was pretty much my uh, second chance school, you know, mm -hmm. after uh, being released from my first school. So I kind of stayed in a life. Like my style at Gremlin was like athletic wear, joggers, Nike fleece or something like that, you know what I'm saying? I go to practice, go to class, go home, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't really get dressed. Like I went to a couple parties, but <clears throat> you know, I. I couldn't even remember what I, I mean. It was it was it was cool with what I was wearing. Uh, it was different for sure. Yeah. But uh, you know, I just ain't go out a lot there. You know what I'm saying? But I went out enough. I went out a, enough for people to be like, oh, he know how to dress. He got some type okay. of style. Okay. What know about what like for like homecoming weekend or like spring fest? Did you uh -huh. have? Did okay. You, okay. Yeah, like homecoming. I know you put on something. Um, what was I wearing in high school? Bro? I mean, in college. Cannot think of the brand at all. Um, but I can't think of the brand, but it was pretty much the same as today, you know, but just with a 
tighter shirt. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, now it's just more fitted. On. Yeah, it was more fitted at the time. It was still some skinny jeans. Shoes was probably some Jordans or uh, I went through a Louis Vuitton era and a okay. Giuseppe era. You okay. know what I'm saying? So uh, for about two years in college, so them was most likely the shoes I wore. But as far as like the brand, I really don't remember. Okay, so getting up to the point of college, you finished college. Now you now you're in the NFL. So now that you're in the NFL, have if you had because I know what you went inside, correct? Mm -hmm. So if you had draft day, if you like had an opportunity to attend draft day and be in draft day, what would your draft day outfit have been? Would you have did like a suit? Would you have did something with, basically just explain to me, what would your draft day fit would have been like? Um, my draft day fit, it would have been a suit, but it just would have been different. Like it wouldn't have been loud, but it, it, it would have been something like nobody like, thought to wear, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't have a color scheme, but it just would have been like a pattern of it, you know what I'm saying? I'm just now learning about suits. Um, I probably would have did something like a like a peach or mango with, with some dunks or something, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, would you uh, have put your jersey on the inside of it? Like, would you did the jersey, like, open it up, nah, jersey there? I, I probably wouldn't have done that, you know what I'm saying? I don't think I would have put nothing on the inside, you know what I'm saying? So. Nah, it, it would have been it would have been simple, but it just would have been different. You know what I'm saying? It's like a color where nobody just thought to do. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. Yeah. Okay. So now that we got the draft part out the way, now that you're in the league, games, you're traveling, you're doing all of that. Do you remember like your first NFL game? Do you remember like that outfit? Do you remember how, what shoes? Do you remember like the jacket? Do you remember like what was that fit? Um. I think the first NFL game, the travel, the travel, the travel fit there was a, um, it was a suit. Uh, don't, like I said, I don't, I'm just now learning about the suits. Uh, it was a suit that um, at the time my fashion designer had got for me. I don't remember the name. It was an all gray suit. I still had a picture of it. Uh, but the outfit going into game day, it was, um, a, a whole purple outfit, like not the color, but the, the brand, purple yeah. outfit. Uh, I cannot think of the shoes at all, but it was a, uh, it was black and white, you know what I'm saying? Uh, some, the pants was black. Uh, it had some type of graffiti, white graffiti on there. Mm -hmm. uh, the shirt was a, a white purple um, shirt. Uh, it had the, the brand on the back. It had some wording on the front. Uh, okay. I always wore hats. And uh, you know what I'm saying? I think my hat was a, it was a white cap with. So you like fitted snapbacks or trucker hats? Like what? Trucker hats, trucker hats, they're my go-to. So what trucker hat are you like going to? Are you like rocking the RGB? Are you rocking like the Ropo? Are you rocking like up and coming brands, trucker um, it's, hats? It's pretty much like up and coming brands, uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, right now, uh, I'm into this the rich before, rich before the pandemic brand. That's a, okay. I got them from down the street at a Soul Lounge, and then um, a, a female that I went to school with, she got some trucker hats. Uh, she got her line coming up. It's called a uh, Ferro. Okay. So uh, I've been rocking them a little bit. So you like a lot of underground brands, up and coming, starting ones. Yeah. It seems like. I mean, I, I pretty much, uh, I'm a believer in like supporting the small businesses. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, so I, people will reach out to me, or I just be on IG or just on Google, like just looking at stuff and come across stuff, and then I, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't just be like, oh, I need this. Let me go look on. Louis Vuitton, you know what I'm saying? Let me go look on Neiman Marcus. Like, like my mind is open to like a, a variety of different artists and designers and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like my outfit don't gotta be expensive at all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, if I like it, you know what I'm saying? If it's ten dollars, I buy it. If it's you know a thousand dollars, I get it. If I like it, mm -hmm. it, don't, it don't matter the price. It's just what catches my attention. What what, what describes me? You gotcha. know what I'm saying? What's your three like top brands that you like? My three top brands. I don't what really three just, top brands that you own right now that you rocking like all the time? Home Fiend is probably like the number one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Home Fiend. Yeah. Home Fiend and Nike. Okay. Yeah. All right. Since you said Nike, let me ask you this: This might go left. This might go right, though. But 
if you had to choose out of Adidas, Under Armour, Nike, Nike, for right. sure, Nike. So if Nike gave you the opportunity to like sign a contract to do something big with Nike, would you take it? I would take if if Adidas gave me a bigger contract than Nike, I would still take Nike. Like I just love Nike. So what is it about Nike that you love that makes they, that swoosh they, just, it's just? We know it's iconic. Yeah, it's the, it's the, 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 the pattern of shoe, the versatility, I don't, the, the scheme color. Like, I've just always uh, been a Nike Air Maxes. Go back to the high school okay. shoe. That's what it was. It was an Air, Air Maxes. Max. I had a, yeah, Air Maxes. I just, um, but yeah, to get back to the question, yeah, Nike, it's just everything about Nike from the clothes to the to the pants to the socks. I just I just love me some Nike, bro. Like you, I always have been. Do you have a thing where like even if you got signed to like a uh, Nike or Adidas or something like that, would you ever like later on down the line like come out with your own brand? Um <clears throat> our own brand is is it's in the works up okay. in the coming. We've been looking for a logo. Uh, you know, so we came up with a name, it's Certified Steppers. It's me and a, a couple of my very, very close friends. Um, we've been working on it, and um, I've been getting some help from an upcoming artist uh, named Six Nick. He's been kind of like giving me the ropes because he started his already. Uh, but it's, it's in the works uh, right now, you know, so. So do you got like, so from where you from, do it plays a lot into where, how you dress now? Because like, I'm from Houston. And I know a lot of people, that when they look at my style and they see me, they're like, ain't no way you're from Houston. But <laughs> I incorporate a lot of like the Southern or where I'm from the North side into my style. Um, nah, I didn't get like, my style is kind of different from where, I'm, from where I'm from. You know, I'm from Amarillo. It's uh, West Texas. Uh, it's a big, big town, small city, you know, probably got 200. Do you think like, do you think there's a big difference as far as fashion with the NFL and the NBA? What do you think? What do you think that the NBA has that the NFL should should like pick up on? Because the NFL, the NBA, they have a they have the um the tunnel, mm -hmm. and you know they fist they getting off fists like clockworks, and it's like every so often that y'all might get like a good tunnel pick, or unless you're not a high caliber player. I mean, you know, nah, um. <laughs> Anybody could get a picture, like, as soon as we walk in, <clears throat> cut the corner from by the buses or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we got the, our, like, team photographer or whoever else they allow to be there, the media team. Uh, you can get your you get your pics off and stuff like that. A lot of people don't post them. A lot of people may not ask to get them or whatever. But, um, yeah, I feel like, I do feel like it's a different style with the <laughs> NBA and the NFL. I just, them guys are more courageous with their outfits, like, mm -hmm. they're more outgoing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I don't knock them for it, like, you know, it's, they just got a different style. some of y'all just like, built like Hulk. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> y'all can't uh, be putting on some of them fits. Yeah, man, I, you know, like the dresses and skirts, I, I don't understand the fashion okay. message behind it, but hey, you know, some people like it, some people don't, you know? Feel that. Yeah. So the other thing is, do you feel like, how we say it, like the NBA and the NFL is different on the fashion aspect of it. Do you feel that the NFL is going that direction where it's it's going to the fashion lane like it's how the NBA has evolved over time? You think that the NFL is going to evolve that way as well? I honestly, because y'all got some dudes out there that can dress. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, yeah, some dudes out there that can dress. Uh... You know what I'm saying? But, like, you asking, like, do I think they're going to start dressing like them? Do you feel like, not dressing like them, do you feel like people are going to start paying attention more to the NFL fashion-wise instead of oh. just, like, the game? Because, like, with the NBA, you look at them, it's like, oh, man, I want to see the tunnel, and I also want to see the, the game day as well. And with the NFL, it's like, all right, we just want to see if he going to do a one-handed catch down the, um. down the field. <clears throat> I don't know. I feel like that just goes on a, the media aspect because, you know, social media and, and all of the other pages before that, um, above it, like, they, they put that out there, you know what I'm saying? So True. when an NBA player wear this, like, they going to either take it as a joke or they going to be, you know what I'm saying? Like, they push it. As uh, far as the NFL, like, I just feel like it, it may be too many players, you know what I'm saying, because the NBA-NFL ratio 
too many players to like keep up for it, or they just target that certain individual that just, you know what I'm saying, have, has uh, his or her own style. So I, don't, I feel like that's just up to society, honestly. I feel that, I feel that. Okay, now, before we just go around and check out different fits to basically what would you wear for game day, because we at the closet, what went into the outfit today? What, what inspired this outfit? Because um, we got the Dior kicks, but yeah. the question is, are those Mary jeans though? Mm-mm, bro. No, nah, they're not. Uh, I know the, the sweater is a, uh, the sweater is uh what is it, air, black, air, airplane, air mode, airplane or something like that. Uh, I was actually gonna wear um, a home theme outfit, but uh, when I looked at the weather for yesterday, I had accidentally looked at the wrong city. And uh, the city <laughs> I had what looked at, you looked at? Uh, I looked back at home. And, uh, <laughs> it was supposed to be 74 degrees, so I'm like, so you dress, cool, So you do you know dress off saying? the mood or do you dress off the weather? <clears throat> Kind of both. You know okay. Because I wake both. up in the morning, I just feel like sometimes, like today was just like 80s inspired. Yeah. And I was kind of feeling soulful. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I had it. I was just like, you know, I'm going to be simple, but, you know, I'm going to be simple but cool. And so when I picked out the outfit last night, I'm like, I'm going to go to the gym. I might get dressed at the gym and then come here. And then, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I came up it, this morning. I'm like, damn, it's cold and rainy, that wasn't on the forecast, and I looked, and I was like, damn, so I was like, I'm gonna just go to the gym early, come on, so I came home kind of last minute, look, I knew what color I wanted to, I did want to do gray and black, like, when I do think about something, I always think about, like, what color do I want to wear, that way I just want to be in my closet scrambling, or whatever, so I was like, gray and black, so I just went to the gray and black side, and I was like, ah, I just got this sweater, I ain't wore it, uh, I ain't wore it, I got it a couple months ago, so I ain't wear it. So I'm like, mm. I just throw that on, you know, it's cold and rainy. And I just grab the pants and the shoes and threw them out. I couldn't find the hat that I had wanted. So I threw on the beanie and I was on my way trying to make it. Okay, bet. Last thing I wanted to ask is this. This might, this might, you know, have some little controversy with the teammates. But who you think, do you think you dress better than any of your teammates? Or, or who you think on your team that dress better? And by the way, he plays for the Cleveland Browns. So who, I know Odell is gone, so you know. Yeah. Oh, before that, that boy, was, that's fire. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> a, uh, I'm a realist, man. I think yeah, before Odell left, he was most definitely in my top three. Uh, but right now, I would say who holds the crown would be Mac Wilson. Like, that dude could dress, you know what I'm saying? That's my dog, uh, you know, I'm a realist. I ain't gonna sit up and say, ah, I dress the best. You know, I got my own style, you know? My own yeah. style, like, to me, yeah, I dress the best, but like, just a lot there. My, my guy be putting it on, man, you okay. feel me? So, okay. Yeah. okay, Shout out to Matt. For sure, for sure. All right, so we about to get into checking out the racks, checking out the different shoes and stuff, and see what he'll wear for game day. Thank you for coming out to Fashion League Styles. You know, being able just to do the interview, this is dope. Hope we can do a follow-up and come to the crib and check out what the closet got. Your actual closet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got to see what the heat up in there looking like. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a little, it's a little, you know, something humble. Okay. A lot of shoes. Uh, it's very color coordinated. I'm a color coordinated kind of guy. I feel like whenever you have a lot of stuff, it's, it's easier to find it whenever you know what color you look at, which hence why I say I just, before I wear something, I'd be like, oh, I feel like I want to wear this color so I can go to the closet and just know what color I want to wear. And the shoes will fall last, you know what I'm saying? saying? So that, but, uh, but yeah, I just want to say, everybody, thank you for tuning in to Fashion League Styles. Hit the like, subscribe button. Check Mac out this year on the field, killing it. Check out his style, check out his Instagram. Let them know where they can find you on the ground. Uh, Y'all can find me at Mac Neander, M-A-C-M-E-A-N-D-E-R. Uh, you can find me the same way through Twitter. Um, I, I wouldn't even know my Facebook name. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He said yeah, Snapchat the same way. Okay, bet, bet. And we also gonna be taking, uh, 
watching out for your brand when you do drop it. For sure. Yeah. Appreciate it for coming through. Let's do. And that's FSL. Big. Yeah. <laughs>